Senator from Nebraska. Thank you, Madam President. I rise today to congratulate Nebraska's beef producers for continuing to reach new areas of the world with our very high-quality American beef. Earlier this month, it was announced that WR Reserve, a beef processing plant in Hastings, Nebraska, will have the honor of delivering the first U.S. shipments to Israel in nearly 13 years. In December 2003, Israel was one of many countries to suspend imports of U.S. beef following a confirmed case of BSE in the United States. Because of this, America's beef producers have been unable to ship their products to this close friend and ally. However, during my visit to Israel last fall, U.S. Ambassador to Israel Dan Shapiro asked me to begin a dialogue with the U.S. Department of Agriculture and find a way to bring Nebraska beef to, to Israel. The ambassador was especially interested in serving that Nebraska beef at the embassy's annual 4th of, of July celebration. Over the last few months, I've worked with the USDA's Food Safety and Inspection Service and with officials at the Nebraska Department of Agriculture in a concerted effort to find a solution. I am extremely pleased to inform this body that an agreement was achieved, the ban was lifted, and Nebraska will supply the first shipments of beef to Israel in over a decade. Ambassador Shapiro was quick to praise this breakthrough, noting, quote, this agreement, gives Israel, this agreement gives Israeli consumers access to the world's highest quality beef. At the same time, it creates and supports jobs in the great state of Nebraska, end quote. I couldn't agree with the ambassador more. Israel is a critical ally of the United States, and I was pleased to work with the USDA and the Israeli government to supply the first American beef shipments to Israel in over a decade. Nebraska's beef producers are the best in the world, and this agreement is a testament to their tireless commitment to delivering safe and high-quality beef to millions of dinner tables around the world. In Nebraska, cattle outnumber people more than three to one. With nearly $7.2 billion in annual cash receipts, our beef production is the largest sector of the state's economy, and Nebraska leads the nation in every aspect of beef production. I'd also like to note that this agreement shows that science-based trade can overcome myth and misinformation. By ending this ban, Israel becomes one of the last countries to reopen its market to U.S. beef and abide by international trade regulations. In doing so, this agreement reinforces the progress made by U.S. beef industry to eliminate BSE-related trade restrictions. I also join Nebraska Agriculture Department Director Greg Eibach in congratulating WR Reserve. Their hard work made this agreement possible after complying with a rigorous inspection process that included regular visits from the Israeli government. Prior to this agreement, according to the USDA, Israel imported beef products from other nations worth $405 million in 2014. Ninety-five percent of these imports originated in Latin America, with smaller volumes coming from Australia and the European Union. Well, now, the United States will have the opportunity to showcase our world-famous beef to a new global market, and Nebraska is very proud to lead that charge. I was honored to work collaboratively with state, federal, and international officials to ensure that Nebraska's beef producers achieved those necessary approvals. And I am proud to represent the people of Nebraska. Through this agreement, new markets are now open to Nebraska producers 
businesses, and the communities who rely on them for economic progress. I will continue to work to ensure Nebraska's beef producers have the opportunity to do what they do best, feed the world. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.